For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The NASDAQ Composite Index started to gain traction in the fourth quarter of 2022, and this upward momentum carried over into the previous year and throughout the first half of 2024. However, with the index now 10% lower than its recent peak, the NASDAQ entered a correction at the end of last week. So, should investors be alarmed? I don't believe so. Instead, I see this correction as an excellent buying opportunity opportunity. Here are three stocks that are no-brainers to purchase during this pullback. Alphabet's stock has dropped nearly 13% from the high it reached in early July. The silver lining is that the Google parents' shares have still increased by almost 20% this year. Even better, the future looks very promising for Alphabet. Google Search continues to be Alphabet's primary growth driver. The revenue for its search business rose by nearly $5.9 billion year over year, which is a 13.8% increase in the second quarter of 2024. Concerns that generative artificial intelligence would pose an existential threat to Google Search seem unfounded. Google's testing of its new artificial intelligence overviews suggests that usage and user satisfaction are rising with the new features. The increase in Google Search's revenue indicates strong performance and growth potential. Google Cloud, once unprofitable, generated $1.2 billion in operating profit in the second quarter. It is Alphabet's fastest growing segment, with revenue surging by 29% year over year to reach $10.3 billion. The artificial intelligence momentum for Google Cloud will not diminish just because the NASDAQ has pulled back. I concur with Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai's statement during the second quarter earnings call that the company is in a strong position to control its destiny as the technology artificial intelligence continues to evolve. The robust performance of Google Cloud highlights Alphabet's strategic positioning in the market. YouTube, along with Google subscriptions, platforms, and devices, provides additional avenues for Alphabet's growth. I believe that Waymo alone could significantly increase Alphabet's value by the end of the decade as the robo-taxi market expands. The growth potential in Alphabet's diverse business segments shows a promising future. Meta Platforms stock ended last week, down nearly 10% from its recent high. However, this decline seems less daunting, considering Meta's share price has surged by almost 40% so far in 2024, and nearly tripled last year. Meta's overall business performance illustrates resilience and strong fundamentals. More importantly, Meta's core business is thriving. Revenue soared 22% year-over-year in the second quarter to $39.1 billion. Critics who dismissed Facebook as only appealing to older individuals are now having to reconsider. Meta Chief Financial Officer Susan Lee stated in the second quarter earnings call, We've observed healthy growth in young adult app usage in the United States and Canada over the past several quarters. Facebook Marketplace has played a significant role in this growth. The increasing engagement among young adults signifies Meta's expanding user base. Meta is also improving its ability to monetize its apps. The company has a particularly promising growth opportunity in expanding ad supply on videos. It is enhancing the technology that determines which ads to display to which users and when on both Facebook and Instagram. The improvement in ad technology underscores Meta's efforts to boost revenue. Artificial intelligence is integral to these endeavors and is expected to fuel growth in other areas for Meta as well. For instance, CEO Mark Zuckerberg envisions that artificial intelligence-powered agents will become as prevalent for businesses in the future as websites are today. The strategic focus on artificial intelligence highlights Meta's innovative approach to business growth. Mercado Libre stands out in this group. Its shares are only about 2% below the high achieved earlier this year. The e-commerce and fintech stock climbed last week while many Nasdaq stocks declined. Mercado Libra's resilience amidst market downturns showcases its robust performance. Net revenue surged by 42% year-over-year to $5.1 billion. Earnings more than doubled to $531 million. Adjusted free cash flow soared by 368% to $678 million. The exceptional financial performance of Mercado Libre underscores its strong market position. I believe Mercado Libre's growth story has many more chapters ahead. The company's continuous innovation is a major factor. For instance, Mercado Libre is deploying 300 robots in its new Texas Fulfillment Center. These robots help reduce processing time by 20%. Mercado Libre's fintech business also has significant growth potential. Its credit card business skyrocketed by 146% year-over-year in the second quarter, with total payment volume more than tripling. The rapid growth in the fintech segment highlights Mercado Libra's expanding influence in the financial sector. In the end, 
the NASDAQ Composite Index experienced an upward trend into early 2024, but recently fell 10% from its peak, marking a correction. Despite this, the correction presents a good buying opportunity. Alphabet's stock has dipped nearly 13% from its July high, but remains up almost 20% for the year, with a strong performance in Google Search and Google Cloud. Meta Platforms also saw a 10% drop last week, but has surged nearly 40% this year, with substantial growth in revenue and earnings. Mercado Libra's shares are only 2% below their yearly high, showing resilience with impressive revenue and earnings growth, alongside notable advancements in its fintech business and logistics. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.